Hello, my name is Carlo Bergamini, Dynamics 365 Business Central and Dynamics Nav Project Manager and Senior Consultant here at Western Computer. In this video, I'm going to talk about bank reconciliations. So let's talk about bank reconciliations. I'm going to go up to my menu in the Cash Management Bank Account Reconciliations. If I had any ongoing bank reconciliations, in other words, someone started them, but they haven't completed them, they haven't posted them, you'd see a list of them here. But because I'm empty, I'm going to start new. I'm going to choose which bank account I want to reconcile to. I'll just stick with checking. And you see it created a template for my bank reconciliation, it gives it a bank rec number, statement number. I'm going to tell it by what date do I want to reconcile it. I'm going to choose 5-1. Over here, my balance last statement, the system remembers what you last balanced to, so it automatically brought in your last balance statement. And then, of course, the statement ending balance is you are going to be responsible to type this in to tell the system what you're reconciling to. So this is basically your ending value on your bank statement to reconcile to. So as of 5-1, your bank statement balance, in this case, was 24,499.41. That's the header portion. Over here in the bank account ledger entries, these are all the transactions that were posted through Business Central, whether it be a check payment, a wire payment, a cash deposit. These are all the bank account ledger entries that were posted through Business Central. So basically the objective is to close these out because in essence they're outstanding payments and deposits based on 5-1. So over here, this left side pane is gonna be your statement lines. And if you were to get a file from your bank, basically instead of having a printed month end statement you could get a file from your bank, whether it be daily, weekly, monthly. We could actually import that file, which will auto-fill the left side of the pane here. And those entries that populate should match all of your right side pane bank ledger entries. And let me show you here on the bank option, you have import bank statement. If I clicked on that, you were just able to just go out and choose that file that you downloaded from the bank. And once you choose that specific file, unfortunately, I don't have a file like that. But if I was to have a file, I choose the file and lo and behold, all these entries will be populated. It looks similar to the manual process. So if I went to process suggest lines, I could also suggest the bank account reconciliation lines. And you notice the ending date automatically defaults to the statement date that we want to reconcile to. And of course, we want to include the checks. By the way, leave the statement date empty because we want to basically get it through the end of time, if you will. We don't want to have a start date. We don't want to limit the start date. We want to grab any open ed ledger entry. So we want to leave that empty and only have an ending date, which is our statement date. I'm going to click OK. And you'll see now it populated the left-hand side with entries to reconcile to our bank account entries. So if I had a file, this would automatically populate from the bank statement file. But in essence, I instead went the manual process way, which you'll see now is in green. If you see the green text, that means they're good. They actually matched. It gives you a heads up, easier in the eyes. You also see in this column, applied, you see these check marks, that means they actually were applied from one to the other. And you'll see it's a very easy match of what we have from the bank account ledger entries to the bank statement lines. Once I loaded this in the manual way, as I mentioned, by going through process suggest lines, then you would compare these entries to the bank statement. So let's say for an example, at the end of our statement lines, this line is not on the bank statement. So that means it's outstanding. So to do that, I'm gonna delete this line so that way I don't try to reconcile to it. I'm also gonna delete another line 
because again, it's not on the bank statement. So if it's not in the bank statement, then I shouldn't have it on my statement lines either because you wanna match your statement lines with the actual bank statement itself. And you notice now over here, when I deleted those lines, these related lines are not green anymore and they are not applied. The check marks disappeared and the text print is not green anymore. So on this side of the bank account ledger entries lines, they're actually considered outstanding. So when I post this bank reconciliation, it's gonna reconcile and close out my bank account ledger entries, the ones that are in green and has the check mark of applied to my bank statement lines that are green. So those two will close each other out. And the only thing that will be left remaining is going to be my non-green lines, if you will, that are not closed out. And these are considered your outstanding amounts, outstanding payments and potentially deposits. So let's go see. My total difference is zero down here, so that's a good sign. I'm gonna go to actions, posting, test report. And my test report will tell me where I'm at. So here, what, is, what we want to see gives us the details of my GL balance to its negative adjustments or positive adjustments to my statement balance. And you see my difference is zero. That's what I want to see. I want to see a difference is zero. If that's off a penny, it's not reconciled and we have to make adjustments. But this will tell us everything that we are closing out and applying to to get to our zero balance. So that's good. Once I know that's good and I have a zero difference, then I'm able to go ahead and just actually post the reconciliation. And now it's gone. So now I have a posted bank reconciliation. Thank you for spending some time watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on all things Microsoft Dynamics. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks again.